Alright, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. I'm currently dying of flu, so I've not managed to get out fishing this week. So we're doing a bit of a video at home today, but it's kind of an important topic. Hopefully it can help a lot of people. And yeah, basically we're going to be talking about how to catch more pike on lures. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about what you can do to your lures, soft lures specifically, in order to make them more attractive to pike and increase your chances of catching more fish. So yeah, there's quite a few things that you can do that can, you know, give you a couple of percentage more of like a marginal chance of catching more fish, basically. Weird way to explain it, <laughs> but yeah. So we're gonna look at a few different things. We're gonna explain what they are, why, it, you know, it'll make you get catch more fish. Hopefully you guys will pick some things up, give you some more ideas of things to try when you're out there struggling. So, the first thing we're going to get into is something that I talk about quite a lot, but yeah, never done like a specific video mentioning it, but we're going to talk about adding rattles, adding rattles into your soft lures. So these are little glass rattles. I've also got some catfish rattles, which you add to your leader. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, and you, can, you can get plastic rattles, you can get metal rattles. And um, yeah, I personally believe that the rattles catch you a lot more fish. I'd say, I'd say about 25% it can up your catch rate having rattles in your soft lures. It um, yeah, it really makes a difference, especially if you've got some coloured water, if you've got low light conditions. You, you, you're getting that pike's attention on your lure a lot easier by having those rattles in. So, so this one has one glass rattle right in the head there. As you can see, it makes a lot of noise. As opposed to one, this is even a bigger lure. No rattle. Big, big difference. So this, still, you've got your big tail vibrations, it's gonna be kicking off some water. That flat face is gonna be pushing some water. But without those rattles, you, you're cutting off one of the senses of the fish, which is the, the sound that it's making, basically. So yeah, if that fish is facing a different way, focused on something else, it can hear that rattle a lot further off, draw them in, and uh, yeah, it definitely helps your catch rate having rattles in your bait. Super easy to put glass rattles in. Um, now, depending, a lot of people just cast soft lures out and wind them in. I like to, you know, twitch them, let them drop, etc. So. So even if the rattle's in the front like that on a straight retrieve, it, you're still going to be getting noise from it. Um, well, yeah, you can pretty much put them in however you want. I'll just take this one for example. Got a glass rattle in the head there. Put one through the side there. One there. And I usually do one in the belly as well, but this one hasn't got one. And in the tail if you can fit one as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll have four, four rattles in that, makes a lot of noise, draws the fish in, very, very um, good technique for getting more bites, that's for sure. Like, it doesn't seem like much this, tiny little glass rattle, but it makes a massive difference to catch rates, in my opinion. There are certain situations where rattles don't make a difference and can even hamper it, but I'd say eight out of ten times a rattle is going to increase your catch rate. So, yeah, try rattles. Little glass ones, plastic, metal that you insert into the bait. Like I say, you can get your catfish rattles. Um, so, this is what the pack looks like. I'm not sure what the brand is. Um, but you, you get these and you get some little ball bearings. You pop one of them out, pop one of them off. And you get your leader. Okay, so you get your leader and then you pretty much just um, put this round it, put your little bar bearing in. And you've got a rattle on your leader. So this is designed, this was made for live bait fishing. 
Um, well, obviously, you know, works with low fishing. Put that on there. So while that's swimming, you're going to get that rattle kicking. And then when you're twitching it as well, that rattle's going to be going. Uh, I personally wouldn't use it in really clear water because, you know, it messes up the uh, presentation a little bit. But yeah, especially in coloured water, they do make a difference. Um, like I say, it's a tiny little edge sometimes that you need, but something like that can really give you it. And if that's close to the head of the lure as well, you're going to get a lot of head hits, which, uh, yeah, usually hook up pretty good. So yeah, that's rattles. The next thing we are going to talk about is another way to add noise and vibration is to add little spinner blades to your baits. I'm going to focus a bit, but hopefully you can see what I mean. But little spinner blade. You can get, this is a Colorado blade. You can, you know, your willow blades, your French blades, etc. Um, but all that does, adds more noise, adds more and more vibration. Simply just screw it into the bait, bottom, top, side on. Um, and that, there is one particular venue that I fish where I catch like three times as many fish if I've got a tiny little spinner blade on the bait as opposed to if I don't have one, which is, it's absolutely bizarre um, how much difference a little spinner blade like that can make. But, you know, coloured water, it's got flash, it's got vibration, it's got noise, and yeah, certain situations, it can really drive them fish wild and get you those extra bites. So, looks small again, just like the glass rails. There's not a massive modification, but it can make a big, big difference to your catch rate. And um, yeah, like I said, especially coloured water, something like that really can get them going. So yeah, little spinner blades, few companies make this. I think this is from Street Fishing in London, one of their own ones. I know LMAB make their own now. Um, I think Gunky make them, probably a few other brands as well. You'll be able to find them. I'll put some links in the description. But yeah, use them on big baits as well. I just put it on the small one so it'd be uh, easier to see, even though my camera won't focus on anything. But uh, yeah, it won't focus, but hopefully you can see you can see what's going on with that anyway. So there's a little spinner blade. That's just on a little 11 centimeter lure, but yeah, can add a lot of noise, profile, flash, everything you need. So yeah, spinner blades, that's number two. So you've got your glass rattles, glass rattles and spinner blades. You've got a very noisy, very attractive bait. And even, you know, it might just be increasing your chances of catching fish by three, four, five percent, but on a tough day, that can mean a difference between blanking and catching. So it's definitely worth having these tricks in your bag. Next thing I'm going to talk about is how to add weight to your lures. Um, a lot of people think you just use jig heads or screwing weights, but the best way, in my opinion, is using Jika weights. Again, it won't focus. There we go. Jika weights or fast hatch weights. A few different brands again that make them. These are LMAB ones. You can get O brand ones, FS, uh, uh, BFT. I think they were the first guys to start selling them, but they all come from the same factory. So, uh, yeah, Gico weights. Simply, tungsten weight. I've got a lot of fat, fast hatch attached at the top. Simply, you just. Shallow rigged, I always shallow rig all my soft baits. I shallow rig now um, for the bigger ones, anyway. Obviously, the um, small ones like this go on a jigger, but your bigger ones, shallow rig, and then whatever depth you're fishing, you can literally just, just put a different jig weight on. Simple as that, and it's ready to fish. So that's that's a seven gram that I just put on there. Want to fish a bit deeper, take that off, put a 20 gram on. Want to fish super shallow. Don't have any weight at all, but it gives you the option to fish with the same lure in totally different depth of waters. No need to re-rig, mess your lures up all the time and everything. And yeah, it can it can save it. It gives you more time with the lure in the water because you're not messing around re-rigging. You're not changing lures. You don't have to take five of the same lure with five different screwing jig heads. 
you know, so yeah, Jika weights or fast touch weights, whatever you want to call them, the best way to weigh big soft baits when you're pie fishing. And if, if you're wanting to fish multiple levels of the same water column, so you've got a 10 foot bit of water, you can, you can start off shallow, add five grams, add five more grams, add five more grams, fish it through the different bits of water column, the same lure, and every cast you can just sap one off, put a new one on, and it takes literally one second to do, rather than having to re-rig or change lures and stuff like that. So yeah, Jika rig, these can definitely increase catch rate. Um, a Jika weight, sorry, or fast catch weight, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, you guys know what I mean, I'll put these in the description as well. But yeah, they can uh, increase the amount of time you're losing the water, therefore increasing the amount of time you can spend catching fish. <laughs> so yeah, and also if you're fishing an, a, a venue where you've got shallow bars and then deeper holes and stuff, snap it on, snap it off, it's, yeah, a lot faster, a lot easier. And uh, yeah, should catch you more fish. So the last thing I'm going to mention now, um, I meant to mention this earlier, but I totally forgot about it, is scent on your soft lures. Now, these ones that I use, uh, these LMAB ones, come with seafood scent on them, as you can see, so I don't need to worry about adding scent. Uh, but you can you can get scent sprays, you can get like um, scent paste and stuff that you can wipe on the lures and stuff. And in certain situations that can increase catch rate. Um, especially if you're fishing a lot slower and the fish get a chance to smell the baits. Like, you know, if you're bottom bouncing jigs and stuff like that. Scent can have a, a real um, big impact. Pressured fish, you know, if, if they don't smell like plastic. Um, you know, if they're scented and it just adds a different flavour to it, that can help. Um, so yeah, if you're struggling, give scent in them, buy scented lures or, you know, buy a scent. Um, and yeah, that can, again, might only increase chance of catching by 5 or 10%, but it can mean the difference between catching or blanking. So yeah, worth mentioning, adding scent to your lures. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Hope... That's been informative. I would rather have got a fishing video done, but like I say, I've been sick for pretty much the whole week, just been dying. So hopefully I'll be better next week and we can get some fishing done. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that's been informative anyway. Hopefully you guys can put some of those things to good use, you know, and catch more fish because that's what it's all about. Going out, having fun, catching fish, learning new things, expanding your knowledge, and um, yeah, that's going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do, and I'll catch you in the next video.